New at 11, state lawmakers will hold a special session to discuss the transgender bathroom ordinance passed in Charlotte four weeks ago today. We've been following every development in this case. And new tonight, CBS North Carolina's Michael Hyland is getting reaction and breaking down why what happens this week could affect people all over the state. Michael? As we've been talking to lawmakers about the bill they're going to be considering here, we found it's going to address more than just the use of bathrooms, and it could affect a lot of people outside Charlotte. It's been weeks of pleas for lawmakers to come back. I am saying that there are countless of men who would use this as an excuse to prey on the innocent. And pleas to leave things alone. I think there's a lack of education about what it is actually to be transgender and that we are around you all the time. The controversy, an ordinance in Charlotte that, among other things, allows people to use a restroom based on their gender identity. Republican Representative Nelson Dollar is one of the lawmakers who's backing a special session to address the issue. Attempting to uh, pass an ordinance that is really not lawful and really is beyond uh, their powers as a municipality. But Republican leaders have disagreed on how to respond. CBS North Carolina obtained this email from Governor Pat McCrory's office saying the governor only wants legislators to address the specific issue of men using the same bathroom or locker room as women. But Representative Dollar says the bill could go beyond that, addressing what local governments can and can't do. Specifically, he cited the ability to set a minimum wage. That is an issue that uh, has been discussed and may be part of the legislation. Wake County Commissioner John Burns pushed back, tweeting, special session isn't about bathrooms, it's about gutting local authority. Some Senate Democrats are calling the cost of the session, $42,000 a day, a waste. It will attack municipal authority over employment, over housing, over uh, minimum and living wage protections. Uh, I don't think the business community in North Carolina is going to stand for this. But what we do not need to do is have a patchwork of various ordinances around the state that really disrupt business and jobs. The session is expected to start Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Rep Representative Dollar says it should be over in just a day, and he doesn't anticipate it going past Thursday. Opponents of that ordinance want the legislature to do something, though, by April 1st, because that's when the ordinance takes effect. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS North Carolina.